guest with me or talk about something that's really exciting that's happening on Thursday at the University of Tennessee. We have Louisa Trott and she is the Digital Projects Librarian and co-founder of the Tennessee Archive of Moving Image and Sound, which sometimes call it TAMIS. We also have Zach Plaster who is here with the McClung Museum. So much going on. Yeah. So, well, Louisa, let's start with you. What's happening this Thursday at 6.30? Okay, so Thursday we are doing a special film screening that is a tie-in with the exhibition that's currently going on at the McClung Museum. And Zach's going to tell you a little bit about the exhibition um, after I've told you about the film yeah. screening. So the film screening is, um, it carries through a couple of the themes that are in the exhibition, which are um, groundbreaking photographic techniques and um, uh, capture in motion, things that the eye had previously not been able to see. Um, so we're taking the starting point of um, Edward, Edward Mybridge, his photographs. A lot of people will be familiar with his animals in motion um, photographs, which are kind of a bridge from still photography this kind of photography. Oh, I think people are uh, watching the, the, um, <laughs> the clips good. at the moment. Yeah. So but, um, it's, the transfer, it's a transition from So it's a transition from, from still photographs through this kind of thing. This is called a zoopraxiscope or a zoetrope, um, where the still images appear to be moving. And then through the good old film. To film, motion picture mm -hmm. film. Yes, I so love all that. We're going we're gonna to show some of the earliest um, mo motion pictures or moving, moving images, which were kinetoscopes made in the Edison lab in the late 1800s. And that's going to be at the Hodges Library? That's correct. Thursday. Hodges Library Auditorium. 6.30, the film starts. And Zach, this mm -hmm. is just part of like a really a bigger picture of what's going on with this partnership. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, we're lucky to work with so many different UT departments and community organizations. Yeah. Um, in particular, Science in Motion was brought in part to the McClung Museum thanks to the Arts in Our Communities program of Bank of America. Um, and throughout the month of November, we have a lot of other programming for adults and children alike. We have a family day on November 9th um, where you'll get to make your own zoetrope, just like this one that Louisa has, <laughs> to take home along with other kind of photo based activities. We have another film screening November 14th called Cinema of Science. And we also have a stroller tour for the little ones, and that's a guided tour throughout the exhibition itself. What an yeah. exciting way to experience history, yeah. Yeah. the visual, the photographs, the yeah. film. It really comes to life. This, this one element that is really exciting about the film screening that we're oh, doing, right. we've worked with the School of Music at UT, um, a student of Andrew um, Ziegler, um, Cullen Burke, he's composed an original score. Oh, so I love it's it. going to be so exciting. Because that's really, the whole point the yeah. movies are silent. So, yes. therefore, you have right. some music yeah, to exactly. go yeah. with it. Yeah. Augments it a little bit. And so, we yeah. partnered with the School of Music. Which is, yeah. Do you have to buy tickets to it? No, it's uh, admissions it's free. And there is free parking, mm -hmm. I believe, well, after 6 p.m. on Lake Avenue. We Garrett. love yes. it. We love it. Thank yeah. you guys so much for Thank coming you. in and sharing it with us. Thank you. Yeah, and I course. love your props there. <laughs> <laughs>